As easy as FreeBSD is to install and use these days, we're going to have a look in this video to see if FreeBSD is easy to upgrade. Can we jump from one version to another? In this case, 14.2 to 14.3. We'll be looking in a VirtualBox instance, and then if that goes all right, I'll be upgrading my main machine. Right, here we are in VirtualBox and we are looking at, and I'm just going to show you now using Uname, um, FreeBSD 14.2 release patch set 1. And before we start the upgrade process, I'm going to go into root and we're going to upgrade things, or at least see if we can upgrade things before we get to the main version upgrade. So we issue FreeBSD hyphen update fetch install. That will fetch any packages we need, any system packages, etc., that we need to update first. There isn't any available at the moment, so that's good. But we can move straight on to FreeBSD hyphen update, then upgrade hyphen R for release, and then we're telling it we need 14.3 hyphen release. I know it's a mouthful, but it's uh, it tells the system we want to upgrade to the next release version, which is 14.3. I will leave it to do its own thing, and there's going to be a lot of fast forward in this as the system waits and downloads, etc., as it checks things. Uh, we'll just keep on going. So it's going to ask you, does this look reasonable? And uh, the following components don't seem to be installed. That's uh, debugging things, the generic, uh, base, and lib32. Yeah, that's fine. You can choose these options during install time, whether you want to include them. And in this particular install, uh, the, all the debug stuff wasn't included. And we'll let it do its thing again. Depending on your system, what you've got installed, it can be either quick, this process, or it can take a long time. But I've not really had any issues with this for, for, for quite a, a while now, and all the major releases, and even the point releases, so I don't anticipate anything's going to fail. Now it's preparing to download files, and this might take a while. Again, depends on your internet connection. Uh, 3,630 files, so uh, yeah, it might take a while. Oh, done. Fast forwarded, of course. And applying patches have done and fetching 170 files. The following files will be removed as part of the updating. Okay, so it's... Uh, We'll just, uh, you have to skip through all these. Okay, we're at the end now. And here's a list of stuff that's going to be added and stuff that's going to be updated. So the next command we need to issue is, uh, I'll just go back on that, is FreeBSD hyphen update install. And we will install all the updates that we've just downloaded. There we go. And asking us to reboot and then run FreeBSD hyphen update install again. So we'll uh, shut down R now, or reboot, whichever we want to use. And once it's rebooted, we'll issue that command again. Right, so we'll go back into root. And that's FreeBSD update install. Right. It's looking good so far. And if your name is 14.3 release, I can see if there's anything else that needs to be updated. And now it's fine, system wise. And if we issue PKG update, and double ampersand pkg upgrade it will go for all the user packages or the user land packages which we need to update because the main system itself has been updated so the libraries were changed etc so we'll just make sure we're pulling the latest stuff and there's a few that needs to be upgraded like chromium curl firefox etc i say this also depends on your system there may be more, there may be less. So in this virtual box instance, then 
Uh, there was just the basic uh, browsers, etc. So we can type yes. Okay. I think we're almost done, so I'll just come out of that. I will start X to see if everything works. It should do. Well, there you go. XFCE. That's very nice. Very good. And Firefox should work, because we just upgraded it. Yeah. Magic. And just to show you, here's a little nice little bit of uh, fast fetch. Showing you FreeBSD 14.3. There you go. So, depending on your system, it can take a long time or it might not. But I think either way, it's going to be relatively painless. Right, so I'm going to upgrade my main machine. Now I have a little bit more trepidation, but we'll go through the same steps as before. So you name it will give us FreeBSD 14.2. And if we issue do as FreeBSD hyphen update fetch install. And do as is like a, a, like a BST version of uh, sudo. I think it's better. So we are inspecting the system. Again, there's no updates to be installed on this particular version. So we got do as FreeBSD hyphen update upgrade and R 14.3 hyphen release. So we tell, again, we're telling it to upgrade uh, to the latest 14, to the latest release version, which happens to be 14.3. And you, you can fast forward all this if you want. It's going to be the same process as what you've just watched if you watched the first part. But for me, the, you know, this is my main system. So if it screws up, then, you know. But it shouldn't do because the other one went smooth. So yeah, I think overall it's I've not had an issue with uh, upgrading FreeBSD. It's um, it's fast. Well, yeah, I mean it's all relative. If you have um, kernel or sources installed, then it's going to take a long time. This bit's new. It's asking whether or not you want to accept the changes. It's telling you that the FreeBSD K mods has got its own little um, repository which is a new thing, so that looks fine. Again, these are all the things that are going to get removed. So now we need to issue do as FreeBSD hyphen update install. Creating a snapshot, just in case anything goes wrong, which is nice. Uh, we need to reboot as before and then run FreeBSD update install again. Let's do as shutdown iPhone R now. And because I can't record when it shuts down, here's some rather uh, dodgy uh, camera footage. Well, there you go. And we've rebooted back up. So, FreeBSD iPhone update install. A new name will give us 14.3. So yeah, so again, do as FreeBSD update fetch. We're just going to make sure there's no scraggling bits at the end. You probably don't have to do this uh, this little bit here. And if all goes well, it should say there's no updates as again. And I think finally we're going to do do as PKG update, uh, double ampersand PKG upgrade. So again, we're, we're uh, upgrading the user land packages. So we've done the main system. Now we're doing the user land packages. And we'll see what there is on this one. Yeah, it's going to go through quite a few more than the virtual box one. Yeah. You remember the virtual box one? There was just mainly just uh, a couple of browsers, Chromium and Firefox. But this one, there's, there's a little bit more. So they all have to be upgraded. And we'll do yes. Uh, 
and again. Not a few more this time. And that's it. I'm on my uh, KDE desktop on this one. Right, so 3BSD 14.3. And everything's uh, looking good. All the KDE and QT and all that's been upgraded. So yes, brilliant. I think we're upgraded. So what's new in 14.3? Well, quite a lot. And for a point release, it's, it's, um, it's quite a lot of it. You're going to get more details and in greater in-depth explanation um, at the FreeBSD uh, homepage and uh, release notes, etc., which I'll leave some links down below. But in summary, really, updated the ZFS support against uh, OpenZFS 2.2.7. They've merged with some real tech drivers. Uh, so it's better compatibility with 802.11.8. Not 802.11ac. Uh, the Linux K uh, KPI code has been improved. Support crypto offload. I have no idea that meant. But it means be better Wi-Fi. Uh, Intel uh, Ethernet drivers has been uh, improved. Uh, some PCIDs for Broadcom. Again, some more uh, communications. Syscon as a legacy system control driver is now considered deprecated. Open SSH has been upgraded to 9.9p2 .9 or pass it 2. OCI container images are now officially published to Docker Hub and GitHub, which is nice. For users of FreeBSD 14.3 release, a new KMOD repository is now part of the default package configuration. I think we saw that earlier. And improved support for Intel Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, and Wi-Fi 7. So, for a point release, there's quite a lot of um, big changes. I don't know. I mean, a lot of this is not going to uh, impact me because I tend to use Ethernet everywhere. But yes, uh, if you're a Wi-Fi uh, user and FreeBSD hasn't always been there uh, for the latest stuff, this this big step, this is kind of like a, a step in the right direction before we get FreeBSD 15, which even more changes and improvements have been rolled in. So 14.3 is like a stepping stone onto some big changes very nice yeah so the upgrade process is easy a lot of big changes uh what's there not to like some fantastic work there by all the developers concerned anyway if you found this video useful then please consider uh, giving it a like and if you've liked one or two or three of my videos then consider subscribing and if you do subscribe and please hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos when they're released. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.